it was one year ago this week the most destructive fire in state history ripped through the North Bay. This week, a resilient community reflects, even as the rebuilding continues. That's next on this edition of Inside Look. I'm Brian May. Thanks for joining us. I'm actually standing on the football field at Cardinal Newman High School in Santa Rosa because it was one year ago this week, October 8th, 2017, that fire raced over those hills behind me onto this campus, damaging part of the campus and destroying thousands of homes around the area. So this week, to mark that one year anniversary, this community has been coming together to remember, reflect, and rebuild. We begin our coverage of these ceremonies this week. Here's Monica Vargas. That's right, Brian. 12 months ago, California was in the middle of one of the most devastating fire sieges in state history. Those fires forever left their mark on Sonoma County. And today, the community came together in Santa Rosa to mark the solemn anniversary on the day those fires began. The fires were around and they made me cower. But now that they're gone, I'm gaining back my power. Those fires forever left their mark on the record books and this community. Today, many came together on the first anniversary, and the effects can still be seen and felt. Healing from a disaster, especially one of the magnitude experienced in the North Bay, takes a communal effort, and healing comes in many forms. Art does make you feel good. Painting in a community makes you feel good. Doing your favorite color on something makes you feel good. Me drawing this like this right now and the city letting me do it, it makes me feel really good. This healing art expression on old Courthouse Square grounds was part of an event to bring the community together to reflect, heal, and also honor those lost in the fires. This event is a testament to the community's resolve and resilience following the most difficult of times of loss. Recovering and rebuilding is ongoing. It'll take a while to recover completely uh, and, and get past this, but they're definitely on, the, on that road to recovery. And, and I'm very, very impressed with all of the, the unity here I saw tonight. And there are resources to help survivors no matter where in the process they may be. If someone is not yet in the process of rebuilding, if they're having a struggle uh, getting on track with recovery, uh, don't give up. We're still here for you. Signs of hope, progress, and strength can be seen and felt throughout Sonoma County neighborhoods. And being part of a, a neighborhood that um, all has gone through this together and being able to help one another and, and really become a stronger community um, is amazing. Today's ceremony and public artwork was a beautiful way for the community to come together in Sonoma County. Brian. Thanks, Monica. On Saturday of this past week, there was another event happening right here in Santa Rosa. With more on that, here's Sean Boyd. Well, you wouldn't know it by looking at it today, but Shiloh Regional Park was in fact affected by the wildfires. And that's one of the things they're out here to celebrate today. And that is that community spirit, the coming together to get things back to the way it used to be. A ceremonial blessing of the land opened the celebration in Windsor. Shiloh Ranch Regional Park in Sonoma County, a symbolic location. It was really um, devastated by the, the fire. But like the mythological phoenix, the park has risen anew from the ashes of the Tubbs fire. We've had thousands and thousands of volunteers come out over the summer. They're helping us clean up the parks, they're healing together, they're curious about what's happening in the ecosystems. Saturday was much more than a day to mark the one year anniversary of the fire. Thank you for joining us today as we surround ourselves with nature and artistic expressions for our community in a celebration of resiliency, strength, and hope. This was a day for a community's healing together. So to help with that, Sonoma County Regional Parks brought in multicultural music, family workshops, crisis counselors, and fun activities for all ages. There was also poetry inspired by the magical monarch butterfly. It awes me with beauty that comes from ashes, some say. Before the smoke cleared, Sonoma had already declared itself strong. Their resilience is evident. 
The number one form of resiliency is community connectedness and we have seen that demonstrated before the fires but just got enhanced dramatically um, during and after the fires. And today is an example of that. History now shows that the fire that ravaged Windsor and much of Sonoma County was California's most destructive, killing 22 people. I would like to observe a moment of silence to reflect and remember those who lost their lives. We still always still have something to celebrate. There's so many people who did not lose lives. Kyle Thompson brought his varsity drum line from Elsie Allen High School. They accentuated the end of this anniversary event. They bring a lot of spirit to, to anywhere we go. Drumming just has that effect on people. By the way, the name of that song, the drum line, wrapped up today's festivities with, it was called Stronger. Back to you. Thanks, Sean. And here today at Cardinal Newman High School in Santa Rosa, there was a prayer event. Over 30 churches across the area came together and invited this community to come together just to pray, reflect, and remember what happened a year ago. On October 8th, at 9.45, a fire began to rage on Tubbs Lane in Calistoga. And by midnight, lights and sirens screamed mandatory evacuation. In just over four hours, the Tubbs fire made a horrific 12 mile run from Calistoga into Santa Rosa. It raced through Fountain Grove and Larkfield Wickia and made an unprecedented leap over 101 and spread flames into Coffee Park claiming in its path 24 lives and over 5,300 homes. Father, forgive us. For we know your word says that with God, all things are possible. We are Sonoma Strong. We are a place where the love in our hearts is thicker than the smoke in the air. To see any of the stories we've done on the fires of 2017, you can go to oesnews.com. We've got all of our videos, podcasts, and stories about that destructive fire from October 8, 2017. And for all of us here at Cal OES, I'm Brian May. Thanks for watching. Visit our online newsroom at oesnews.com to learn more about this program and get the latest news and information from our team. Don't miss our next video on your Facebook timeline. Like our page and you'll get the latest posts as they happen. If you're an Instagram user, you can see the latest snapshots by following our Cal OES Instagram account. And Twitter users can get instant access to our tweets from across the state by following Cal OES.